Don't think of this as a marathon match, my friend. This is an adventure that involves life itself. Every day in the mines of Myanmar, tens of thousands of people embark on a quest for treasure. Now, you might wonder, why are these people so crazy? Well, they are searching for valuable jade stones within those rocks. Once Lady Luck smiles upon them, they can instantly become overnight millionaires, living a worry-free life. In recent years, the escalating demand for jade in Asia has propelled the jade industry to unprecedented heights, with jade trade accounting for half of Myanmar's national income. In this fervent commercial backdrop, jade has become more than just a symbol of local wealth and status. It represents the relentless pursuit of enormous wealth in the Burmese people's eyes. However, the high value of jade hasn't necessarily made most Burmese people wealthy. This is because many jade mines in northern Myanmar are controlled by local armed forces, and the massive wealth generated from jade ends up accumulating in the hands of a privileged few. The average national income in Myanmar today is roughly equivalent to $100 per month, while a good jade stone can be worth millions. It's practically a fortune that an ordinary Burmese person can't dream of in their lifetime. The allure of immense wealth has led thousands of Burmese people to flock to the stone mines in northern Myanmar, chasing the dream of getting rich overnight. They sift through abandoned mines surrounded by enormous dump trucks, treading on unstable ground that could collapse at any moment. They endure the looming threat of being caught and punished by local authorities, exposed to scorching temperatures above 105 degrees Fahrenheit, all in the pursuit of finding that elusive jackpot. Rough estimates suggest that in the jade mining areas of northern Myanmar, up to a million people are making a living by picking stones. In other words, on average, there's one jade digger for every four people. They carry the dream of getting rich overnight, believing that if they find a good stone, they can rise above their circumstances. This aspiration may seem too idyllic, but what we usually see is just the dazzling side of jade, oblivious to the bitterness and shadows hidden behind the scenes by those who harvest it. Now, after seeing this, would you still complain about the unfairness of life? So, are you willing to risk your life and try your luck in a place like this?